A Tucson police officer is fired one year after he was involved in an officer involved shooting. Now he's fighting back to get his job. The Digging Deeper team looked into it. News 4 Tucson's Upita Murillo with tonight's report, and we want to warn you the body camera footage you are about to see may be disturbing. Alfred Anaya told members of the Civil Service Commission that besides his wife and his children, the thing he was most proud of was being a member of the Tucson Police Department. However, the Office of Professional Standards says that he violated policy when he used deadly force on July 17th, 2019. The video was shown to the Civil Service Commission last week. The commission is made up of three civilians who heard testimony for three days from Tucson police commanders and Anaya. Due to COVID, the public wasn't allowed inside the meeting, but the proceedings were available on the city's website. He shoots five times, four rounds go through the door of the vehicle. You will hear from Officer Chandler and some other officers that this action is inconsistent with the training. Mike Story, who represents Alfred Anaya, told the commissioners they needed to understand the total picture and the people he says were involved were gang members. Not only were they known to be weapons, they were drugs, they were dangerous not only for the community, but police officers. At the time this incident occurred, the head of their group was on Facebook saying he was going to kill a particular officer in his uniform. This is the scene a year ago at Palo Verde near Irvington when police say Anaya, an eight-year veteran, shot 37-year-old Vincent Linares after the man allegedly hit an officer with his vehicle while trying to flee a traffic stop and then collided with a car where two people were inside. An officer in an unmarked vehicle intentionally rammed Linares' car to stop it. Turns out Linares had a felony warrant for his arrest and had narcotics in the car. For a year, Anaya was on administrative leave with pay and ordered to stay home. In January, the county attorney's office found that the officer's actions were justified. However, the Office of Professional Standards investigation showed Anaya violated policy and wasn't justified. On Wednesday, the Civil Service Commission members will meet and decide whether Alfred Anaya should keep his job or not. We'll keep you posted. Digging deeper, Lupita Murillo, News for Tucson.